Hello, hello, welcome back to an episode of Squishy the Suicidal Pig. We are at level 4 or 6 with only 3 lives remaining, which makes me curious to know. Are these 3 levels after this gate allowing us to die on them and complete the game? Well, that's not. T well, you, you obviously not supposed to die on this level. There are also no apples, so we just gotta get through here and survive, huh? Okay. Um, space bird. You can get yourself killed on the spikes fairly easily, apparently, from the side. I have to keep that in mind. I'll jump over that and then trigger the wall. Hmm. Okay, well, this area is pretty, pretty big. Okay, I'm supposed to uh, jump on uh, the bird's head, apparently. <clears throat> Carefully. Oh, and the spacecraft is going to really mess me up here. Wow. Um. Come on. Okay, so I can't jump on top of that. Damn it. I think this is meant to be di more difficult with the uh, spike ball coming at you as well. Because I think they expect you to rush out here, but uh, if you wait long enough and then jump and then go by it, it gets stuck. Okay. Um. I think this is going to require some precision platforming. Yeah, it's really hard to get it in that one wide hole. Yeah, even a slight jump would cause a problem. Okay. Mm. I don't... I don't know if I can jump off the bird again to get on top, because if I could, that'd be great. That would save me a lot of trouble. Well, that's an option. Getting it stuck in the, uh... Damn it. I, I completely screwed up the timing on the jump. Like, 100% screwed up the timing. The, the moon gravity is really throwing me off on my uh, timing here with this bird. Wow, I actually made that jump. I'm very, very surprised. I think I'm gonna rely on uh, this side just because it's more open to try to kill off the bird. So that's two hits, we need one more. There we go. Lasers, huh? Okay. I might have been able to make all three of those, but uh, I didn't want to take a chance on that. Oh, okay, so it's coming down right on top of me. Um, sure. What am I supposed to be doing there? Because that was a weird thing. Need to get back there and actually check that out again. Made it. Ooh. <clears throat> Alright, come on at me. Bird guy. I love that he's a space cowboy dog. Coming at me again. Come on. Yeah, and I can't jump on top of those. Really? That had to have barely nicked me. Like, pixel nicked me. I wonder if there's a secret pineapple up here. Doesn't seem to be. Yeah. 
Hmm. So there's no hidden block or anything, huh? Damn it! Damn the bird! Come on, spiky ball. Okay, you can actually catch yourself on the edge of the block without killing yourself on the spike? What? That was weird. That was really weird. This, um, this room's a bit too big. It takes a bird a while to get back and forth. Hmm. Wow. That was just a failed jump for me. Ah, why does this level feel like it's going to be more annoying than it's worth? Yeah, like I, I feel like I could kill this bird pretty quickly if the spikes weren't there. Guess I'd be able to hit and then jump and then kind of go to the left as well, allowing me to uh, get another hit off in fairly rapid succession. What the hell? How am I missing that jump now? I should not be missing that jump. If I knew I was actually going to hit the bird there, I would have moved to the right. Run, run, run. To the other side. Fail the uh, jump. Really? Oh, it wasn't big enough for me, huh? Okay. Yeah, I got a feeling this was going to be uh, probably this entire episode, to be honest. Because of how tedious it is. If there was a checkpoint after this, that would be lovely. But uh, that's apparently too much to ask for. We got bird. You can actually get pretty close to those lasers without dying, huh? Not this time. Okay, so this is where we died before. I'm thinking we're supposed to get up and around the uh, platform that shoots me into the spikes, but... Seem to be having a bit of difficulty doing that, considering how long it's taking for me to get back there each time. It's not something I could just run through repeatedly. Th this part here is not not helping any. Is there probably a faster way to do it? Yeah, probably, but I don't know it. And I don't feel like trying to um, min-max this zone, or this game for that matter, for uh, terms of speed. Okay, you can actually survive there. And then fail to jump! So press a key. I don't have a fireball still, do I? I don't. Okay. I had to make sure.
I jumped. Game. I pressed... Well, press W in this particular case. Except Z. I almost thought I hit the spike there. Come on. God damn it. Tenth of a second too soon. I was trying to time that perfectly. Did not work out in my favor. And we're already ten minutes in on this uh, this particular level, by the way. Really? Screw game. You know, I could try to do this with the spike ball, but uh, I'd rather I didn't. It's a bit too late that I did not have enough room to the right. Oh, come on. You're supposed to have charged at me. It's as soon as I jump back down and then jump back up is when you charge. After hitting you. Come on. That's how it's always been. Why was that time any different? Slipped off the key. I, I all I have to say is fuck this level. Fuck it all hell. Really? Come on. Should not be hitting the damn spike there. Like I'm lighting myself up on that shape as best as I possibly can. Yeah, look, I, I jump again and then they shrug. Why did I die over there? Made it back over here. Um, yeah, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna wait for the next shot. There we go, and then we can start moving. Jump on over it. Finally get to see more of the level. I don't know how I didn't die there, but okay. I'll take it. Ah. 17 or 13 minutes later. We are finally on level 4 7. Um. Okay. <clears throat> I think I know what I need to do. I'm gonna put that there and then this far enough back for me to still have the speed boost. But be able to jump like that? Oh. Um.
I guess I can't put it right on the edge. That honestly still gives you a lot of momentum even when you're trying to fight it to the other side. Wait, I can't trigger these again, can I? No, I cannot. Whoa! Holy crap. I want those apples. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get them. That is a lot of speed. Okay, I can get two of the three. <laughs> what the hell just happened there? That was weird. And here is the last apple. Alrighty, moving forward. You know, we haven't seen the secret pineapple in a while. Also, why secret pineapples, I wonder? Okay, so nothing too complicated this far. That I'm aware of. Okay, I can't grab that. Um... Why can't I just go up above? I can. Okay, I, I see. I'm one block short of being able to jump up there. Um, in that case... Kind of looks... Like... I need to set this up. To go there. This up in just the right spot. I'm gonna push this down here. I'm thinking this box isn't actually going to make it that far because it's gonna hit the top there. But that's a TNT switch. What? Where is the nitro one? Does this work on the nitro boxes too? It does, and the box actually does make it all the way up there. In fact, it made it a lot further than I expected it to. Well, that sucks because, uh, you know, one time use on the nitro, and since I'd pushed the other one off, that uh, does not help me any. Which gratefully means we have to go through this bit again. What the hell? I jumped. Also, oh, yeah, that is weird. Pushing into this causes it to bounce. What the hell? That is... I don't recall seeing that bug anywhere else. You know, I'm very close to actually grabbing, like, all three of those apples. Come on. Okay. Yeah, can't gain enough speed by uh, jumping into ju just that one. We. Ah, getting all these apples. All how many are thirty-eight apple? Jesus, this is going to be a bit of a challenge get all 38 of them. I would like to. Are you serious? Screw you, game. I really wish Squishy could pull boxes. It makes some of those spots so much uh, nicer to deal with. Also, I kind of feel like maybe that should be pushed over just slightly. I don't know why. It still got me up there just fine. Okay, I am still pressing Z to jump in that spot, and it, it just it hasn't been working.
Alright, fine, got one of the two, or one of the three. Uh, you know, there's probably a quick way to get all three of those. I'm just not sure what that method may be. Okay, look, it's still pushing me to the right a bit. Makes me multiple go-arounds to get all those. Okay, this time around, I'm not going to push the box at all until I have the Nitro in place, because screw you, game. Not being able to freaking pull a box like a pixel. Uh, what? Oh, right, TNT's up there. Are you serious? This is the last attempt for this episode of this level. Just because the other one took us so goddamn long. 4 5 really was a challenge. Well. Okay, I, I guess I shouldn't call it a challenge. I, I guess I, could, I should say it was a time consuming. We. Alright, hopefully we can only do this in uh, two go-rounds to get all those apples, rather than uh, three. So much speed. I... I'm not gonna even say anything. Other than I'm now very annoyed. And I don't understand how I keep missing those. Finally. You know what the sad part is? Um, if I had actually put the nitro down in this corner like I had the first time, it wouldn't have been a problem. Not have been a problem at all. What the hell is going on with this box? I'm done. <laughs> I am done for this episode because we've gone on for 22-ish uh, minutes or so. So yeah, we're, we're gonna have to continue this level with the next episode. Hope you guys have enjoyed. 4-5 definitely kicked our ass. And this one's just being a pain in the ass. Yeah. Yeah, regardless, thanks for watching. Until next time, as always, take it easy.